Good day and welcome everybody to TNH Learning. Today's lesson will be time. Now on the board we have the analog clock. I'm just going to write the name here. This is the analog clock. Right, as you can see the analog clock is up to 12 hours. So if we identify what is the hour in the day, we use the analog clock. Now, before we can identify the hour in the day, there is two hands in the clock that we use. We have a long hand, and the long hand is for our minutes. We have the short hand, which is for our hour. Okay, so if I write short end on the 2 and the long end on the 12, remember the long end is for my minutes. So if I want to know how many minutes is 12, we will count our minutes around outside the clock. So using the 5 pattern or the multiples of 5. So I'm going to start by 1 and counting 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. Okay, so 60 minutes is equal to one hour. That's why 6 is on top of 12. So I'm just going to write it here. 60 minutes. is equal to one hour. Okay, so on the board, my short end is on the two and my long end is on the 12. So that gives us a time of two o'clock. Remember, you need to write out the name o'clock. If I erase this and I want to know what is the time now, you look at where's your short hand to find out what is your hour. So the short hand is on my seven. So this is seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Let's do another one. We need to find out where's our short hand. So my short hand is on the five. My twelve as the long hand. So this time here is five o'clock. So what we did now was only to identify what is the hour of the day. So on the next lesson, what I'm going to do now is do our digital time. But before we go to do digital time, I want to show you the time chart where we work out a.m. and p.m to find the day in the morning time. So, this is the time chart. So I will write AM, and then here I will write PM. Okay, so in the middle, I will draw a small little digital clock. 12, colon, zero, zero. This is 12 o'clock. The zero zero stands for our minutes and the 12 stands for my hour. So the colon only separated to the hour and the minutes. Right, so I am. If I say zero one colon zero zero a.m. then in the p.m. in the afternoon it will be 30 colon zero zero p.m. now remember p.m. is in the afternoon a.m. is in the morning right so I'm going to count right 
write everything down in order so it's zero two colon zero zero am and then in the afternoon it will be 14 colon zero zero pm three o'clock in the morning will be 15 zero zero in the afternoon four o'clock in the morning will be 16 zero zero in the afternoon five o'clock in the morning will be 17 zero zero in the afternoon zero six colon zero zero a.m this is the morning remember and this is in the afternoon 18 zero zero p.m so i'm gonna stop quickly here okay if i see zero one zero zero a.m this is in the morning now usually at this time we are sleeping so we're sleeping one o'clock in the morning two o'clock in the morning three o'clock in the morning four o'clock some of our parents wake up at four o'clock some of our parents wake up at five o'clock we wake up at six o'clock because it's time for school so six o'clock in the morning when you wake up for school the time will be zero six zero zero a.m six o'clock in the evening that is the time when mommy calls you to come forth that we write in 18 colon zero zero p.m that is almost towards evening it is late afternoon right then we go on zero seven zero zero a.m will be 19 p.m oh eight zero zero a.m will be 20 zero zero p.m Then we have 10 zero, zero in the morning and in the evening we will have 22 zero, zero p.m. 11 23 zero, zero p.m. 12 o'clock a.m. still morning. 2400 zero, zero p.m. Also, we can write it as zero zero colon zero zero. Right. So let me quickly explain what I did write on the board. So one o'clock in the morning is thirteen zero zero in the afternoon. Two o'clock in the morning is forty zero zero in the afternoon. Six o'clock in the morning zero six zero zero. It's 18 zero, zero in the evening. 11 o'clock a.m. in the morning will be in the evening, 23 zero, zero p.m. So when you come to 12 o'clock, it's midday, right? But we still say a.m. So after 12 o'clock, we switch over to 13 zero, zero. So all you do is you count on from 12 but the only thing there will be is going to be midday the it's no longer going to be a.m it's going to switch over to p.m so after 12 comes 13 14 so we stop at 24 because 24 hour is already time for the morning the next day so we stop at 24 so when you have your analog clock you don't see a.m. and p.m. You don't see 0600 next to, and you don't see 1700. You only see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You only see the 12th hour inside of the clock. So therefore, it is very easy for us to learn the digital clock to understand what our a.m. and our p.m. is different from each other. So I did not explain the minutes here to you. We're only doing the hour to understand what is morning, which is a.m., and what is p.m. in the afternoon. So in the next lesson, we will be doing the minutes, 
how the minutes were, what is our quarter to, and what is our quarter past. I would like to thank you for having me today for this interesting lesson. So I hope to see you tomorrow and to find out how we can work and to learn what is our minutes. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.